Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bed Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and Doug's in the house. Yeah. Yesterday, we put the piece in around the front. Um, I did a bunch around the sides, which does not matter. Studding it up, getting ready for the toolboxes. I showed you that. We got that in there on this both sides now. Doug's been winding up some more roof rafters for me. He's got three back there. He's got one on the go back there. But today on this video, I'm going to show you, we're going to try to do the front. Someone sent in some scale model of the original, and it said that the, the front um, was smaller at the top. We've got this pretty well plumbed up and down with the front of it. And um, I did look at it this morning, laying in bed, laying, you know, talking to Jolene. We looked at the pictures rolling. It does kind of lean back. Like this, this, this square stock here is kind of laid back some. So this would not be plumb up and down. We plumbed that. We plumbed that. We're about the same all the way around. Theirs is laid back a little bit. But remember, um, when you're building something, you do not have to do it exactly the way someone else does it. You do it your way. And as I got thinking about it, I don't, I don't mind this. And the reason being is if I did not like it, I would change it. But the reason being I do like it is because when it comes time to sheathe it, you can see that it would be easier to sheathe it this way than if it was lean back. And if it's lean back, where, where, where do the angles come from? Like you just, it comes from your brain, I guess, because we do not know the angles of what that truck was built like. And I do not mind the flat front on it. It's going to be okay because we're going to wind this back and go to the roof. Uh, yesterday, I got Doug to wind this up, um, and he, he wound another one up. He, he's muscle-bound. Um, he, he don't fit his t-shirts anymore. <laughs> so we got this wound, wound up here. We, were go we was going to run it around here and then add some pieces to it. So we were going to run, make it smaller up here and then run pieces to it. I've decided against that. We'll add them pieces after. So what I've done is I've made five of these. These are the ends that were the same as the roof rafters right here. Five of those look really good. Happy, happy, happy. So what's going to go on is, is I've, this is what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about the Airstream. So what we're going to do is we're going to plunk one on. I got marked in the center here. We're going to have to find the center up there. I'm going to plunk one on here. <clears throat> we're going to go from there. We're going to go up to the center on that. We've got two big windows in the front, so we're going to have to take a measurement from here to there to there to find out what size the windows are. Um, and then we're going to put, there's going to be one big window from here to there probably, and then there's going to be one window there and then one window here. On the picture, it shows there's a window back here. I'm um, not going there. And the reason being is if I'm sitting there, I'd have to be the exorcist to see you here. I'd have to turn my head like oh, way, way back like that. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like there's any need for that. Um, something like this, if you were going to use it, I would suggest probably cameras, basically. You know what you're doing when you're going full steam ahead. I do not know if, if I'm opening the back up and putting a window back there or not. I have no idea. Uh, we're, just, we're just making uh, the doodle bug our way. So I feel like the window here is not going to work for me. I'm not interested in looking at this angle here. Um, I will. I would look from from sitting here. I could look like that, but I'm not doing this. It's like the fellow said in India. He said, "You keep looking backwards. You're making me nervous." Right. So if you're driving, looking backwards is <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so what I have to do? I found center here. I measured from the corner of this post here over. Found the exact same measure over here. This is going to go here. I'm going to tack that on. We'll tack that on in a second. But what has to happen is I have to find the center of our roof rafter. And I'm going to do that right now. You want to grab that tape measure, Doug, please, and thank you. I'm going to jump in. Uh, we'll do a measurement. I think it's 92 and a half is what our measurement is from. Yes, you're fine, Doug. 92 and a half. So half 92 and a half is what? Half of 92 and a half, 40, 90 would be 45. Don't do the math. 46 and a quarter. Jolene's the queen. 46 and a quarter, 46 and a quarter. So I'm going to mark 46 and a quarter. We've got that on the edge there, that's fine. Will you get with the plumb ball we dug, please? It's up Where's there on the top of that toolbox. 
Aha. So I'm just going to take, I got, that's the center I'm saying of the roof rafter. I'm going to put the plumb ball on there, get the plumb ball to hit, and then I'll just mark where the, that's what I'm thinking anyways. Yeah, it's not long enough, but. Looks good enough to me. Close enough. I'm gonna call that center. Good. Easy way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. I, don't, I suppose we could pick, we could take there. a piece of tape and run a piece of tape all. No, don't need any. Run a piece of tape all the way along. Pull the tape off. Find the center, and then put it back on. But this seems to be pretty basic. Sweet. So I'm gonna call that center. I'm gonna ask another favor, Doug. Can you pass me them goggles there, the glasses? So I'm gonna mark center. I get center there now. I'm just gonna mark a little bit on each side and then we can put our piece of square stock. That's where we're going with it. All right, so we're gonna mount our first piece of square stock in the front. Just how far that will, yeah, perfect. We will use a A little, a little level on. It's on that side. You got it in your pocket. All right, on, Doug. You hold on to her. I'll just get Good. my helmet. Let's throw one of these on. That's on the mark that I have. Also. On these, if you can tell or not, we lean these in a little bit there. So I'm going to lean this one in a little bit there. I don't know how far I'm going to lean it in, but. Sorry, to me, look already you, Doug. Looks good to me, man. Good. Lean in a little bit. I'm just going to tack either corner. Mm. Now we're going to take your roof rafter. One of your roof rafters back there, Douglas. We'll take one of those. We're going to cut it. Uh, see if we can get a piece to go to the center. I'm going to get the zip cut. We'll just put that end on there. I don't know how good I got that tack, but I'm hoping good enough to hold it. So you stick with us on this video and we'll get it looking like something in the front end. And uh, we'll get it looking like something. Awesome. That looks good already, man. Beautiful cooking with gas. How about we do this? How about we do this? Um, let's take this piece out. I'm gonna take this off. I'll get you to hold it though. If you wanna go up there, and get, you wanna get inside. Just go jump through here, Doug. Oh, he's going through the other. Go ahead, you do whatever you wanna do. This is for video, so if you wanna go that way, you go that way. Do whatever you like. You're good. If you wanna come down and grab this bad boy here. Yeah. You want to hold that? You see, you see where my center is? Yep. Yeah. Can you see my two marks? Yes, I can. All right, I'm, that's way there. I can cut it. That thing looks bad already, don't it? Bad the bone. That's Jolene, bad the bone. Center, Doug? Yes, sir. All right. There's not one thing about me that's a sir. <laughs> not one thing You're that I know of. What? Oh, she has you got that right. And I don't want to be the boss either. I just want to work here. Me too. <laughs> there you go. One thing 
Did I cut that way short? Dude. 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 All right, we'll have, we'll have to 50 it up then. Can you do that with me? Yeah. How, how much far away are you there on that one? Eight. Oh, you're... All right, let's, let's uh, hold it for a second. I'm going to helmetize myself. I could probably put a C-clamp on it. Hold it. Right there, I can get a... Pull yourself a little, pull your way a little bit. Get to yourself. Like, you good there? Yep. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. Beautiful. You on your mark? Yes. Get set, go. All right, I'm gonna come up where you were. That's crazy. You can just push that ahead a little bit. All right, Douglas, you might go that bad boy. Watch your eyes. Um, I'm gonna weld across here just to hold it. Watch your eyes. Look out, there goes. So what I'm thinking is, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? So I'm thinking Airstream when I'm thinking about this round piece like this. Let's face it, you get started shaping this sort of metal going around here and making, you know, fantastic turns and curves and bends and all that stuff. It could take you forever. That's not me. It's a lot of work. A lot, it is a lot of work. So basically what I'm thinking is if I can get, if I get them, my windows in where I want them, then I can make pie. Like I can put this one in here and then I can make that pie shape. So I can make a little bit of shape this way and this way because it's pies up there like that so if i keep that pie thing going on it'll be a lot easier on me i think i think because this could this could actually come up a little bit higher and then turn down i'm thinking but we're, we got the same the same shape going all the way around and uh, we're building it our way so we're building it our way so i'm, I'm okay with it I'm going to weld that on. I like it. And weld this on. Watch yourself. Gap is nice. Sorry, sweetheart. This looks good. Just because you know you've got penetration is what I'm trying to say. And pull that off. We'll go with that. We'll go with that for now. What I'm gonna have to do now is I have to figure out how large I want the window in the front. How large I want the window in the front because we want two small windows here and we want a large one in the front. These were right on the money, I think, were they not? It would probably be kind of cool to have these right on top of that. But I'm, I want the, the window in the front larger than the windows on the side. Hold that there, Douglas, right on top of that stud, please. You will stud you. Oh, chattels. 26. And it's whole, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. The center of uh, 41 would be 20 and a half, so 20 and a half per window and 26. What do you think, sweetheart? Would you like a bigger front window? Would you like the front window to be bigger, want to come over here and then make two smaller windows or do you like, or do you, are you happy with that? That's kind of a big window for the front, is it not? The side windows would be, that would be the front window there and then there'd be, you, we'd split this up for the two side windows. What do you think? That seems fine? That seems fine, she says. 
what can happen is I, I did notice on uh, the picture of the truck these are not this wide like they're quite wide and they have a nice finish around the corner so it's going to be fun to make that the nice finish around the corners because it's not you know as I put that in there that's it's about that wide it shows in in the pictures and it can be and it can't be and it can be anything it wants to be but they are a little bit wider that one's leaning back nice we'll have to lean that one back but I'm thinking the the front window is pretty good from there like I want to take a look plus we have we have it studded up I'm thinking that it's in the center there that we have that studded up let's go a little further let's go a little bit further so what I'll do is it will look at that now he just went on the outside of that Let's measure over a second. Let me measure this for a second. Then we'll make a mark. How's that, buddy? Pull that off. I'm going to make a mark on the outside of this bad boy. Just tie it up straight up and down. Let's come over another. Five inches. close if I just make the line bigger it works it's not the right measurement <laughs> right I like that. Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna eye this one up I'm gonna go five inches I'm gonna take a measurement just, just put it on one what side of the line are you putting it on which one do you want on Let's put it on the put it on this one. On the, on the other side of that. I just want to see if I get the same measurement, sort of. 35. Let's go to the other side and do it. Same side of the line. 35. I'm happy with that. So we're going on the outside of that line. Please and thank you. We'll do um let's do this side first because it I know the welder will reach. We'll just bring it out like that. Where's the line bit. at? We're on the outside line, aren't we? You want to lean in yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I do. That's nice lean. Good. Going to the center. Let's see if we can get that other one knocked on. Don't know if we can or not. It'd be nice. We're on the other side of the line. Too much lean. Bring it down a little bit. too much lean just right beautiful too much lean eh it looks like a little more than well we're up an eighth we're up just a little bit I'll cut that off and then we'll lean right back down top again you gotta put it right down tight on that well we should have it if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Let's just go in a bit. Beautiful. You're thinking. That's leaned in. Sure it is. I'm just going to do the back side here. Oh. One thing I didn't do is I didn't put a, you know what I'm saying? Like it looks like it could be. But then again, we, uh, we're gonna make, end up making those. You got your little square, little plumb thing going. Put on the other side of that bad boy. Is it, what's it look like? He 
tapped it on good. You don't know your own strength. We'll just, well, we sort of want to get it level. Pumped just up the level on it and we'll weld it to level on it. Exactly. So, like, put it back down on the welds. Oh, here I Come, come my way. How you feel with that, Doug? Like it? Yep. Now I have my eyes closed. Grind that one off before I just want to tap it. Weld it. I'm gonna grind that one off. Got it boogered up there a little bit there, not much holding it there. That thing take off on us. Which way's that gonna go? Yeah, it's in there now. Took off and then come back. I'm gonna have to snip one off, Doug. A little bit more. That's good. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to the center though, that's for sure. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to tell you. And it don't have to. As long as you make them both the same. Yeah, it's a little off. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that one. <laughs> That's fine. All right, it's fine. I'm going to cut this off. Did not have this one centered up that well. You have your little thing going on there, Douglas. And we're gonna be making this bigger so we can end up. See, that's, that's good. I got this piece I walled on probably a little bit. How much more does it need to go? Hmm. I'm gonna do this. So what I did is I just let I cut it over so far. I left that corner tack, left that corner tack. I cut through here and cut that one off. Now I can just slide it over a little bit, that's all. I'm just gonna grind some of this off. Put it underneath there so we don't step on it. So Doug can push that over a little tiny bit. And get me center again. One more. One more. Yeah. I don't know if that's doing it or just lifting it. Like up? No, you're just lifting. <clears throat> just a minute now.
Got that up there connected too, right? You do. You let's put do, a bead of weld across. Yeah, the let's, let's do it. Let's, let's just hit this, try to push it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now, now it's bending a little bit. No, don't need it all the way. Perfect. There we go. It's good enough for me. We got a little crook in it right there. I do. See that? You can see where it's welded together there, a little crook? Yep. If you want to hold the top piece. Uh, I want to hit it. You go on the other side, Douglas. Just hold that, hold, just put, put pressure on it this way, hold. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it this way, so you're gonna hold it, you're gonna hold it this way. If you know what I mean, hold against me. How's that feel? Felt great. Do it again. Um, actually, yeah, just, just kind of, you don't have to hold it higher, just put pressure on. Just if I hit you in the chops when I'm swinging that. I want you to just push over on it for me to kind of take off some weld first. Watch your eyes for a sec. you to push that over this way a little bit and open that crack up and then I'll weld it. Watch your eyes. Good. Ah, better. I'm happy with that. And besides that, we're going to make it wider there so we can take that out of it. One back in. Make sure everything's connected. Yeah, we're connected back there good enough. Just not. Watch it out. Alrighty. Let's add a couple pieces here, Doug. If you want to go up there again, up there in the middle of the truck. You want, I don't know how you want to get in there over top of the wheel. Any way you want to get in there, you're, you're more than welcome. What's going to happen here is, um, we've, we're pointing this thing, we're flushing this thing out. We could have turned this to hit the center of that. Does not matter. We're going to make it hit where it hits, but we're going to make this side hit the exact same spot, hopefully. This one here does look like it's going towards. All right, so if, can you give me the other end of that piece of pipe? That cut doesn't fit this one the best. Just gonna check it and see how that cut fits. That cut fits better. Now, if you turn, take it over that way some, and all I'm trying to do is make it straight. Um, you got to hold that, do you, Doug? Yep. Okay. Just gonna take a look at it. It almost looks like, yeah. So we'll go with that. Let's take a mark and mark either side of that piece of pipe there. Hold it, keep this to stay holding it. I want to take a look at it again just to make sure. It don't look bad. Let's go to the other side. Stick this one on. See what this one, where this one lies. See that one goes towards. More towards the center, does it not? They're close. Yeah, see, this could be. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. And this one could be turned. You know, we're out here on the. Yeah, this one's crooked here on the. All right, this is what I'm thinking. 
I think I like this one the best. Take it over towards the center. Take it over more. Take it over more. Take it right over just like that. Now, see, that works for me. Yeah, closer to the middle of this one's way That one, we're gonna twist that one and do that one again. So this I'm gonna- way over here like that. Yep, I'm gonna get in there. Just like that. Just like that. Um, all right, I can. Lots of headspace. We're going to be up further than that, also, but lots of headspace, I th I'm thinking. <clears throat> Let me chop this one off. I'm hoping that I chop it off and it looks good. Have to move that one. You're fine. I'm just going to angle this one down here. That, this wedge that's down. nice. Yeah, just a minute now. I want to see that straight right. here. No, we have to. I have to cut off just a little bit to get the angle back just okay. a little bit. Just a little bit. Take the blade off. Yep. So, beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. The weather is fantastic. You fitting in there good, are you, Doug? Yeah, beautiful, man, beautiful. I need to shorten that up some more. I need to shorten it up a bit more because it can't fit in tight against that. It needs to go this way just a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. We're kind of crooked there just to, you know what I mean? I can see it. Good, so I'll just take off. Fitting really nice up here. What's that? Fitting beautiful up here. Fit and beautiful, he says. Yeah. Love it. my clamps hitchhiker all right juggle some ways Looks pretty good straight, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Are you above or are you right on there pretty good? Oh, you're good. Yeah. You're fantastic. I mean the bar is. I'm gonna tack that on there. And then we'll just make that one, this one the same. That sound good? Looks better than this one. Alrighty. We're straight, are we? Look, take that, just make an eye down that. Look good and straight? Yeah. Good. Too straight. Too straight. What? Too straight. See what you did? You just made me weld it like that. It's supposed to be off and It's on. All right. You keep it straight and I'll keep it plumb. Let it down. Let it down. Okay. Is it straight? And hit again, watch your eye. You happy with that, Doug? 
I am. Good. Let's do it again. I am. We're gonna have to have another piece we cut. Where's the angle that we we cut that angle up, did we not? And we angle's did. gone. We used it all, buddy. Huh? We used it all. Okay. You grab another. You can walk on that. If no, you, I don't, if you, if I don't you, want if, to walk on that. Huh? I don't want to walk on that. Oh, gonna pull the big John stud <laughs> over the top rope. Good thing it's only three feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, if you want to. Uh, you can walk on top of that. If, if, it, if that bends, it's, it's not a good truck. I don't want him. Okay, here we go. All right, you, you've got. It's like a monkey. It's like a mole, she she. All right. Now, that mm -hmm. there has to be twisted. Roll that under there. Like that. I think it's got to be in the same no. spot, but just got to be. I just want to get a bat in the head. That's all. I just don't want a bat in I'll the head. I'll warn you first. What, before you give me a bat in the head? Yep. Now you want that over in the center of sort of like what's going on with the... Can you get that underneath that other piece in the back? Can you get it underneath Here? that? No, no, I just tried that. It don't work? It leaves it up over like that. Okay. If you like that. Well, it's different let, let's do this then. Okay. Let's just leave it like that. And we can mark it. I, I, I want the same, what I want, Doug. What I want. Same is, up top here, don't you? What you I, want, I want the same distance between this here yeah, and that there. That's what I was going with, too. You got the same distance? Looks the same to me. All right. I'll bring it down, I'll cut it. Do, 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 do. Don't want to get the helmet dirty, but. this bad boy get this going straight like that that there is not straight is it no 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 it does not so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this piece you can take that You can see how this is a little bit crooked. You can all it has to do is be turned a little bit. I hope I just don't knock it off. That's all. Let's try that, Douglas. How's that look for straightening? It's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit more though, eh? Or we hang. Yep. Hope it don't break off. Nice. Try that, Douglas. I know we're long, but looks straight, don't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cut some off. How much? I'm gonna cut off. Half an inch? Uh, two blade lengths. You, you almost there? Are you on right now? I am. Okay, so I gotta cut off some more.
You're sitting down in there, Doug? No. Third touch of charm. Or it's going to be too short. <laughs> that could be leaned in a little bit, maybe. Got room for gap this time, too. You in there? Yes. I'm not on my mark, though. I'm not where I want to be. I want to be right about there. Okay, can you hold that? Like, just hold your... I like how straight that is. I will probably... I'm going to put a pair of clamps on it. your little square on it it's in your pocket it's in your pocket all right I'm gonna can I I'm gonna weld that on there Doug okay sounds good okay Is that you, Doug? I'm gonna jump up where you were. <clears throat> Wonderful. Sweet. Watch your eyes. Hold on to it. Watch your eyes. Good. <clears throat> now. Eh. I think it's a little bit further. What? Like how much? Very little. Okay, so you want, me cut, you want me you want me cut that again? And I think this is a little bit. Yeah, it needs to go over something. Yeah, choke this way a bit. Cut that. It's all moved a little bit. Just cut the two spot welds, and you're gonna have to hold it at the same time. You don't want it to fall. Snip the top of them spot welds off. Like this, you know what I mean? Let that down. Let that down. Yeah. Okay. okay. Damn. Let me see your square, let me see your plumber thing again there, old buddy. So what, are you off, are you on there? That's better. That's better, he says. That is better. All right. I'm happier. All right, coming up. <clears throat> yeah. Want your eyes? You happy with that? Much. I am. Much. Yes, I am. Now, this has to be straightened out. Oh, yeah, I still think it's towed this way a little bit. That looks like okay. On the far end. So, that ain't going nowhere. 
Well, you want to come down and help me shove this together? I do. Actually, how's that look? That looks straight, Dad. It's in the water. It's quite a push on that, doesn't it? That's tight. That's straight? Yeah, that looks good. You're gonna have to do that for me. Yes, so I am. And then I'm gonna to try to keep your hands so I can see up and down. Just push that over a little further. Push this one down. Second. Let go. Okay, you line them up. There you go. Now push on it. Nope. Push up top for the warm, maybe. Push up here, put your hand up here. Yeah, so I can burn you, see? Okay? It's all good. Hold on to it. Still a little bit crooked. That's what I'm going to do. Watch your eyes. Now let's push it over a little bit. Now we're connected. Over at the same time. Push, push, just push. I wouldn't push on the hot spot, but push up here somewhere. Just open that up somewhat. What? Ready? Yep. All right. That could just be the matter of turning this down here again. You know what I mean? I gotta look at this one. So close. That one looks good. And you're not even gonna see it, to be honest with you. Nope, gotta do it. Gotta cut it. Watch your eyes. Hey, that works. To put on that wrench, Doug, and pull it your way. Just go easy, right there. Hold on to it. Please and thank you. Hold on to it. I'm committing. I'm committing. Me too. That was good. Sweet. Look up now. Better? Bingo. That's a dog's Bingo. name, isn't it? Bingo. And what's his name, oh? What's his name, oh? I'm gonna weld this up. Watch yourself. Watch your eyes. Hot. You are, Jolene. You're hot. Ugh. It's hard. Get a couple good welds on each one just to hold it in place. Oh, I don't know how far you're going to get that. You're maxed out. Always. Always, Doug. Always. Always.
place. That's not a bad working weld there. I can leave that one. Stand back and take a look at it. <laughs> Looks like a beach ball, doesn't it? Uh, huh? It's a bad mamma jamma loaf of bread. Bad mamma jamma loaf of bread. Alrighty, seeing where we got this in here now. Um, how much time are we at? 51. Let's add, let's add a few pieces on the top, just so what it looks like. Um, we're, we're just gonna add, well, actually we've got another window to put in actually, to be honest with you. Um, We'll do it in the next one. Well, okay, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna continue on with the windows. Uh, we have two more pieces here. We're gonna continue on. We're gonna split the difference here, run that up in there and, and finish off the windows because we're gonna have two small windows here, a large window in the front, two small windows here. Uh, we're sitting directly in the front. I think on that original dude bug, they sat back a little bit further probably. They could see probably back here on their side. Uh, we're way up in front on this bad boy. So we will put the window in both sides. Um, when you come back tomorrow, then we'll section it off to show you what it really looks like up here because we have the piece rolled down there. We just have to cut it to shape and put it in there uh, to knock off the top of the windows and you'll get to see what the window size looks like. But it's going real good. Um, bum, 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 bum. I don't know if I want to end it yet. Do we want to try a front wheel? Do we want to try a back wheel on the front? One. We can. Okay, what's what we're going to do? We're not going to end it right this minute. Um, I, I really want to know, I really want to know about putting uh, dual wheels in the front. So I'm going to take a wheel off the back and see if we can bolt it on the front. Um, we, have, we have an old eight bolt hole lug here on the front here. Uh, we have, just put it on the rear end, Doug, anywhere's tall, I imagine. Uh, we have an eight bolt hole lug in the front, eight bolt hole in the back. What I'm thinking is if we can get this rim, I want to try this rim on the front of this rim. I know it's not um, flat there at all. I'm not sure even if the lug nuts are long enough. And that can, no, we have to, we'll have to put the nuts back on that wheel to make sure it stays on. Anyways, that's what we're gonna try to do to see if we can make it a, I wanna put two wheels in the front. I wanna put two wheels in the front. You can see how, um, as we've got this front on here, now that I can, I got this shape, I'm gonna be able to make um, this no problem with a piece of metal. With, with a pie cut like that and a pie cut there. We, basically what I'm doing is, that should be good enough to get her up off the ground. Basically what I'm doing is, is I'm getting, I'm taking away from the Airstream to make that front. Um, what's, do we know what size that socket was, Douglas? Really that, buddy. I think that's it. That's, just <laughs> that's it. Maybe you want to maybe you want a ratchet to take it off with. I like this ratchet. I do too. You like that ratchet? It's tight. I want to get a gun. You want the gun? Yeah. A couple of them are tight. You got it in the air now. We can loosen them before we put it up tight. No, they're not that tight. Yeah. They're not that tight. Yeah, it does look like a beach ball going on the front, does it not? And the glass, I keep thinking about the glass. We have a shape like, we have a, a different sort of shape going on. We have a bigger area down here, a smaller area up here. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might have to bring out the old barbecue and uh, form a couple windows or one, two, three, four, five, six windows. I have formed probably six windows, uh, probably. And what we'll do is we'll make this shape. We'll do the exact same thing as I did for Elvis. We'll form some windows for it. And then we'll lay our uh, plastic sheathing on it so nothing can happen. But it's coming along quite, it's coming along pretty cool. I'm just gonna take and do this for you. If you can picture it. From the top of the, there's there's one window. There's, no, nope, there's gonna be two windows in here, two small ones, but that's gonna be your front window, if you can picture it. Which I know you can, because I can. And I do like, this is what I, I'm gonna say, it. I do like this one where it's straight up and down more so than the one leaning back. I like this one better because it almost looks the effect that it's leaning ahead more than leaning back. Also, uh, remind yourself we are building our doodle bug off of the inspiration of the one they made. We are totally off on the height. The height of theirs is six feet. We are uh, five feet, a little, maybe a little less. We're five feet. Um, also, we have a smaller, way smaller tire. They have a 36 inch tire. We have a, I'm gonna say a 30 just to put in the middle, but we're at a 29 inch tire. We are 92 and a half wide. We're 92 and a half wide. The original doodle bug was 92. So we're half an inch off the width. So we're right on the width. We're a foot shorter and um, six inches shorter on the wheel, but we're, I wonder if I should just put that on then we can set this down. That's what I'll do, Douglas. We'll just set this on. Then we can use the jack for the front. Sounds Is that good. going to... That's a bigger tire. Will that fit in there? It might not even fit in there. It's a bigger tire. Way bigger tire, isn't it? Um, that's not going to fit in there. So there's no sense. No, I'm even going to get in there close. Mm. What I'm wondering... This is what I'm wondering. Huh? It would look cool. That's a bigger tire. Yeah, I knew it's that was a bigger tire. They're both inside and not sticking out. So. Yeah, like, so if, if, and this is what I'm thinking, if we had this tire, if we had the same size tire, obviously, we don't want them bigger than the other. If I took and put a, if I put the wheel on, put a spacer on the outside, if you know what I mean, saying if I took and put the, I'm just thinking, tried to how to make dual wheels here. I'd like to have that wheel on the front and the back. It would really look cool. We'd have to buy a bigger tire than the inside. But if I took and lug nutted the wheel on, spacered it, then put the tire. Space, on the yeah, spacered on the in, spacered the tire on the inside, spacered on the outside of the wheel. Could you put the spacer on the outside of the wheel? We would leave how much of a gap in between it. But if I put the spacer on the on the outside of the wheel, then this could fit. This could hit it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I put the spacer, what I'm thinking, if I put the spacer on this side. As long as it doesn't bring it out past your frame. Well, that's what I'm saying. This would actually maybe bolt up to it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> hmm. So if I had, like I say, a two-inch spacer, that's probably two inches, two-inch spacer, and bolted it on the outs. I don't know if I can do that or not. And you could turn the wheel and it wouldn't hit. Alrighty, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to figure out if that works or not. That does not work, <clears throat> so we're not going to put it on. It's not going to get to the spot where we want to be. So I want to thank everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. Um, what I'm going to say is like, share, comment, subscribe. Come back tomorrow. We'll have the other two windows in, and then we'll start sectioning it off for you, show you what it looks like. Have a great day, everybody. We are Joey.